Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a photographer and digital artist and welcome to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. Today, what I'm going to be showing you how to do is create light coming out of a flashlight. It's actually pretty simple, uh, but some people get this really wrong when they start to draw it. So I want to kind of show you my process on how I draw light coming out of a flashlight. And uh, it's pretty simple, actually. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So this is my uh, final image right here. I do have a little bit of color grade that I have uh, on it. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to create a light coming out of this uh, flashlight right here. And so what I'm going to do is let's go and put all of these things in one group just so we can see what we're doing here. Okay. So we're going to start off with our very first picture here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a brush and uh, I'm going to start painting right here on this flashlight. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to start right here on this flashlight, right on the edge of it. And then I'm going to just drag uh, my mouse over here. And while I'm holding the shift key, I'm going to click again. That makes one line. Holding the shift key down in between two mouse clicks is going to do that. Now what I want to do is uh, I don't want this line to be perfectly straight and uh, the even amount of uh, power the entire way. What I want to do is it needs to be a lot fatter as it gets further away from the flashlight and it needs to be a lot skinnier uh, when it's right on the flashlight because as the light goes away, it's going to start uh, getting wider, almost like a triangle type shape, but it's going to kind of go like this. So now it's nice and narrow right at the, the light bulb and then it gets wider and wider as you go out, just like that. So that looks good like that, but I wanna do it again. So what we're going to do is we're gonna get another one and uh, I don't even have to draw it on the flashlight. I'm just gonna draw it right here. So here's, here's the first dot and then here's the second dot. So just a line, that's all we've got. But this one's gonna be even wider than the first one. So this one's gonna be even more like a triangle. So I'm just holding my control key down and um, just making this part nice and small, but I'm also making this part nice and fat. And then what you're gonna do, bring it right up here, change your blend mode to screen. And now you see that part of it is a little bit wider. And so you've got like two little rays going here, one that's a little bit skinnier, one that's a little bit fatter. Then what you're going to do is make a new group on the top of everything and put a group, a layer in that group and change it, the group to um, color dodge. You've seen this many, many times. And now what you're going to do is you're just going to paint very lightly on this group right there where the flashlight is at, just like that. And then you can slowly start to fade it out as you get further away from the flashlight. It should be the brightest right there. And then as you get further away, it's going to be a lot um, it, it's going to start, you know, diffusing more and get a lot more dim. So something kind of like that. Now what you want to do is take all of these three. One of these is the color dodge. The other two are just the, the glows there and uh, put all these in a group and call it flashlight, flashlight, and uh, put a layer mask on that. And then you just want to zoom in nice and close and just zoom out part of that flashlight because the flashlight shouldn't be shining uh, behind itself. So just like that. Here we go. Just like that. And there's our nice little flashlight. So here's before and here's after. Now another thing that you could do is uh, in this uh, color dodge group, you could go up there and uh, you could also start painting white like on the ground. So, you know, if you have a flashlight in, in the uh, darkness, you're, you're going to be lighting up like the ground here. Uh, but you don't want to make you don't want to make it too bright because the light source of the flashlight should be the brightest part of this image. It shouldn't be the ground. So make sure that the ground does not get brighter uh, than the actual flashlight. And then when you turn your color uh, grading back on, it should look pretty good. And now we have this nice bright blue down here, and uh, we have it hitting the ground and the nice purple and warm colors in the sky for a nice little. Um, um, complementary colors going on here. So that's pretty much all I do for flashlights is I just, I, I draw that line and I turn it more into a triangle and then I do a secondary one 
uh, that's even a wider triangle, and then I put a color dodge on top of that. And then lastly, I mask out that edge of the uh, flashlight so it looks like the light is coming out of the flashlight, not like on the back of the flashlight. Uh, so this is a quick little tip. If you ever have a, an image that has a flashlight in it, that's how to, uh, to paint those. Very simple, very effective, and uh, makes your images look a lot more um, interesting. But guys, that's all I've got for today, and uh, we've only got a few more of these left. I hope that you've enjoyed our uh, one-a-day Photoshop tutorials in the month of June, but I uh, hope that you uh, are taking advantage of these, and I will see you again tomorrow morning uh, for another video in this series. Thanks, guys.